What's happening, Kim folk? Welcome back to the channel, Knuckles TV. Knuckles coming at you, man. Today we got another cool video for you. Today it's me and my brother-in-law, Gabriel, the man with the plan right there. Uh, today, man, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to cook up that gar that he caught in the last video. If you didn't get to see it, check it out up there. It was an amazing time. We had a great fishing trip. But uh, he caught a, a five, three, five, four five, foot gar, alligator gar. So we ended up uh, getting the meat off of it and we've got it here in the sink defrosting a little bit more because it was still a little frozen. So, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and make that in cigar balls and I think we may even make a couple fillets out of it as well and fry it up. So let's go ahead and get started on that and I'll show you what we're working with. Let's go. All right, Kim folks. So. I'm gonna show you what we have, man. We've got some Slap Your Mama, some Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce there. We got some crushed red pepper, peanut oil, buttermilk pancake and waffle mix. We've got some sriracha, and of course the fish, whoa shit, fish fry, and, uh, and some flour. So the plan is, with the sriracha, I'm gonna make like a little dipping sauce with some mayonnaise, sriracha, and some lime juice. Um, we'll see how that turns out. But then the uh, Frank's Red Hot wing sauce, we're actually going to put that in with the meat, mix it all together with that. And then we also got some bell peppers and green onions in here. And we're also going to use some garlic. This garlic, I don't have fresh garlic, but I've got the squeezed garlic. So. Uh, we're going to put that in there as well, and then we're going to mix it all up, man. What we're going to try to do with the gar is, uh, like I said, we got in some water to frost them, but we're going to take that, put it in this bowl here, uh, mash it up, man, with my hands. Uh, I don't have a meat grinder, so a lot of people put it through a meat grinder and grind it all up to make the alligator, uh, the gar balls. So, uh, so what I'm going to do first is go ahead and get that meat out. I'm going to stick it in the bowl, and I'm going to go ahead and try to mash it all up, and then I'll show you what we do after that. Oh. Of course, we got damn micheladas going too, baby. So, salute. Hopefully this turns out good. Hopefully we can do it again because Gabriel's got to catch some more fish because we're going camping again this coming weekend. So, yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, Kim, folks. So this is what we ended up doing, man. Let me tell you, I've never done this before. Uh, last time when we did cook it, I mean, caught, catch it. When Gabriel caught the, the gar, we did cut uh, a couple of fillets off, grilled it right there on a little skillet. It was pretty good. Never cooked gar like this. Actually, that was our first time to have gar. So this was, it was pretty tough, man, without a meat grinder. Uh, we we're trying to do it by hand, but what we found is there's a lot of, I, I, I guess it's called like silver skin that's in, in between the meat. So whenever we go to try to, to mash it up, uh, it, the meat wouldn't separate. So what I ended up doing on some of them uh, is I took my knife and just scraped the meat off, just scraped it across the skin like that. As you can see, it cleans the meat, but then it, you know, makes it all minced up, and then you get left with that. But it's a lot of damn work to do to try to make these balls, so I ended up cutting them up in little uh, cubes, kind of, and then mashed them up, and that helped out a lot. So uh, this is this is what it looks like now. As you can see, it just you know mashed up and then we'll just start putting our ingredients in and uh, this this uh, part of the filet we ended up just cutting in little strips so we got strips there we're gonna batter those up and fry those as well uh, the center still a little frozen so we're gonna let it sit for a minute but uh, we got that for that and then the gar balls are gonna be made out of this here so let me uh, get my hands washed up real quick start adding our ingredients in Red hot wing sauce, hot buffalo sauce. So hopefully that'll give it a little buffalo flavor. I don't know how much as far as measuring, because I don't measure shit. We just put it in. Right, Gabriel? That's right. <laughs> uh, our onions, uh, green onions and bell pepper. We're gonna throw them in there as well. I cut, I used half a bell pepper and then uh, a bunch of green onions. So I'm gonna slap your mama. Season in there. If you never had this, man, that's some good season in there. We use that shit on a lot of stuff. Garlic. Squeeze some garlic in there. Going to uh, we're gonna mix this up now. So get all of that mixed in together. Oh shit! I just dropped some on my boot, Gabriel. <laughs> shit! You just love that sound. 
Folks, so I got some of this already balled up, man. Um, it was a little pain, but this is the mix there. Got my fish fry there, and then the pancake batter there. So all these are pancake batter and fish fry. So I took the ball and then put it in the fish fry first, and then I dropped it into the uh, pancake batter. And then these are just the fish fry here. So. Uh, waiting for the grease to get hot. We are using peanut oil. So I think the rest of that stuff there We're gonna end up. Uh, I'm gonna try to make like a little patty out of it and see if I can make a, a, a gar patty and then these Little sticks here little fish sticks are gonna be uh, those. I will probably use egg wash the fish batter there uh, So that's probably what I put on those uh, So now I'm about to go ahead and make my little sriracha mix while the grease gets hot and uh, see if I can get that to come out okay. I don't even know what it's gonna taste like, so <laughs> but let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so we're gonna take our mayonnaise, throw some in there, throw some sriracha, and some lemons. Try to catch some of the seeds. Oh, missed one. Uh, it's spicy enough. Some more sriracha in there. More pepper flakes too. I'm gonna put some garlic salt parsley in there as well. Throw that in the fridge and we're gonna check on the oil. Let me see if this oil is ready. Looks it. I don't want it too high, too hot, and I don't want it too cold because you want everything to cook good, but you don't want it to burn before the actual gar cooks. So let me go ahead and try to put some of these in there. It's gonna be hard to get a good shot of it by myself right now. We're gonna cook the ones with just fish fry on it first. It might be a little too hot. She's gone. I think that grease was a little too hot, so we're gonna let it simmer down a little bit. But you want them jokers like to be a golden brown, man. So hopefully I can get it right and it's not all fucked up. <laughs> so let's keep going. So I think that's how they should have been looking when I dumped them in. Not like it was about to fucking blow up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna take these out. These were in there probably about six minutes, but it was freaking super hot when I stuck them in, so. So that's the first batch there. I guess they don't look too bad, but they are definitely a little dark. So let's get the rest of them in that have just the uh, fish fry, and then we'll do the other ones here in a minute. All right, Kim folks, so this is the uh, last of the ones that are just battered. That's the last one that's in there, but that one already broke apart too, just like these did for some reason, so it don't look too bad. So we're just waiting on that one to come out and then we're gonna throw the ones with the uh, fish fry and the pancake mix on it. And we'll see how those look compared to the other ones here. And then we'll get down to taste testing them jokers. Yes, can't wait. All right, Ken folks, we just dropped the first batch of the pancake mix and the fish fry. Well, hopefully <clears throat> they'll come out good. This is what the other one looks like again. So as soon as my brother-in-law gets back, I'm gonna have him do the first taste test. Hopefully some of these will be done by the time he gets here. That way he can compare the both. Compare the both. Compare both of them to see at the same time. <laughs> to see. Golly. We'll be back. Alright, Kim folks, brother-in-law is back. Lady, shut up! Anyway, so. We got the first four out with with the uh, fish batter and the pancake batter. So, or fish fry and pancake batter. This is the second batch going in. But this one here is just with the fish fry. So I'm gonna have Gabriel go ahead and taste that shit so we can see what he thinks about that. So let me get you that, that dipping sauce too, Gabriel. But try it without it first. 
and then uh, and then we'll try it with look at that let's see does it look cooked is that the batter I guess the batter is uh because of that red uh franks yeah Is it crunchy? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. I think it's more, more fried. More, yeah. But it's pretty good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Try one of these, uh, try one of these other ones that are a little more, try that one. Cause that was the first batch I put in. And that one, I think I had the oil too hot. Cause that one looks different, huh? It's, it's about the same. Is it about the same? Yeah. It's better? It's better because of the sauce or it's better because they were fried more? No, it's about the same. But that's really good. Is it good? Yeah. Oh shit. Plus, the garbage itself. Yeah. With that hot sauce. It's got you can little, taste it, right? Got a to it, yeah. You can taste it in there? See, that's what I like, dude. So, I saw that on another video, man. They use that Franks in fish frying. And instead of using the uh, egg wash, they use the Franks. And it, and it actually made it taste more like a hot wing, right? It had hot wing flavor yes. to it, so. Yeah, it's really good. That's really fucking good. dope, dude. So this shit here is good? Yeah. Well, shit, let me go on and try it then real quick. He took off up there. Oh, let me forget about them in there. Just by itself. It's good, dude. Just by itself, it's good. You can definitely taste the Franks. Yeah. It does got a little spicy, because there's nothing else in here that's spicy except the Franks, right? Yeah. So, let me taste this salt. Oh, dude, that is pretty fucking good. <laughs> Damn. They are still a little tough in some spots, like kind of when you get in certain areas of it, but it definitely wasn't as tough as it was when we tried them just in the fillets, right? Right. They're a lot better this way. This one here, I don't know what happened there, bro. I don't know if I didn't cook it long enough, but it just like it fell apart. Yeah. And it definitely doesn't look as dark as the other one. Okay, so this is the batch with the uh, pancake mix on it. Now these, as far as frying it, they don't look any different, right? They definitely look the same. Yeah. So I don't think the pancake mix really made a difference as far as how it looked. But I'm curious to see because it is a buttermilk pancake mix. So I'm curious to see how it, if it put any kind of different flavor on it. So go ahead, Gabriel. See if you can even like tell the difference. Not really different, huh? There is a taste different. I think they're better like this without the without pancake. the pa pancake yes, mix. It gives it a a flour taste to it. Oh know? no shit! Yeah, I I I definitely go without the pancake mix. Just the regular fish yeah. fry. But it's it's not bad either. It still has the spiciness behind it. But it didn't give it like a sweetness because of the buttermilk at all. Okay. Oh yeah. Well shit. Let me try. Oh, look, it doesn't look any different either, right? Shit looks the same. It does have more of a flowery oh, taste. Yeah. Those without the pancake mix, yeah. way better. Yeah. It definitely got a different flavor to it. Maybe maybe if, if, if you would remove the, the spiciness, the pranks from yeah. it, yeah. then probably would have been a little more sweet. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because that the Franks things out on in every big day. time, right? On all of them. Yeah, dude. But that Franks is fucking good though, yeah. bro. It, it does a job. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, man. So that's dope. So we're gonna wait till these come out, and then uh, and then we'll give you our final thoughts, and then we still gotta cook those damn little strips over there too. So we're gonna cook those that way, just with the uh, fish fry. That's it. So we'll put those on there, and then. Uh, <clears throat> and then we'll let you know, uh, you know, what we think and how, how 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 it came out for us. And hopefully, if you end up trying it, man, it'll come out the same for you or even better. You try something different. Like I said, this is our first time ever cooking it like this, and uh, first time ever eating. Well, second time now yeah. eating gar. gar. So, but it's way better like this, though. Yeah, it, this in is the balls. This, and the balls is better than <laughs> the way we cooked it last. Sorry, I just <laughs> yeah, this this is better. It just made me laugh because I just said it's better in the balls. <laughs> My bad. Alright, let me get these out. Hang on. Alright, Ken folks, the last of the uh, gar balls from the with the pancake mix are out. 
and I don't know if this has to do because of the pancake mix or what but I mean they're just they're not they didn't even stay together right so they're all they definitely don't look like balls no more <laughs> compared to these right so these I mean they stayed together really good except the ones that exploded here but these here actually look like they just separated and I don't know if that's got to do the pancake mix or not as far as a uh, as far as our opinion man uh, me and Gabriel definitely agree that the one with just the fish fry but with the Frank's you know with the Frank's uh, red hot sauce buffalo style is better of the two for sure right Gabriel that's so right. so even but this mix here came out really good man so I showed y'all how, how I did that earlier so maybe you'll give it a shot and see how it works out for you and i'm pretty sure you can just try it with fish or anything right so hopefully this coming weekend catch another gar we're gonna just throw it down like that there with the fish fry that's in frank's hot sauce so that would be really dope if we can get that going again so i think that's it kim folk man i, I you know it, it wasn't that hard but the hardest thing for for me anyway without a meat grinder was trying to get the guard to actually break down good enough to where I could form it into a ball, right? Because I didn't want to just cut it up and then just kind of mash it together and then put the batter on it. I actually wanted it to be minced fine enough to where it would, you know, go together pretty good. So, because um, I did see a couple of videos where they just cut it in chunks and then just put those chunks together. So when you bit into it, it was actual chunks coming apart. So I, I think... Uh, that was to me the hardest part for me was just getting it to where I could get it good, you know, minced really good to where it would it would form a ball. So uh, we didn't use no egg wash on any of this. Gabriel, would you recommend alligator gar and ball style? <laughs> I definitely will. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. So I know y'all probably making all kinds of jokes because I keep saying balls, but we're gonna get on these balls right here and <laughs> and uh, we're gonna finish this. <laughs> finish those strips out so again i hope y'all enjoyed the video man thank y'all so much for watching y'all stay tuned because that's like i said we're gonna go fishing again this coming weekend damn it you natty light <laughs> <laughs> so until next time man much love much respect knuckles out baby see you